uh, I'll show you how to do it on the ranks, which is the non-parametric, what's called the non-parametric Levine's test, which is the most robust when you have skewed data. Now, to actually do a, a poor person's uh, Levine's test, if you will, uh, go into tra uh, data and aggregate. You don't have to do it this way, but this is the way that I think is the easiest way. And I'm again going to have to actually calculate the um, groups based on split file, because I need to get the means respectively for each group. Click OK. All right, and then I'm going to data and aggregate. And you're actually going to see the means form a variable. Uh, I suppose I could have chosen a break variable. Sorry about that. This is actually a better way to do it. I wonder if it would have. Nah, I wonder what it would have. Who knows? I'll have to try that again and see if it actually does the same thing, but I don't want to take a chance. So I'm going to do IQ and group, and I'll show you what this does in a second. It's actually quite simple, but. So what it's done is it's cal calculated a variable called IQ mean, and it's calculated the mean for the group that's called 0, which is 102.9. And it's got that value for all of the values of 0. And then for the group of 1, where the mean is actually 100, it's created uh, the mean variable. It's all the same variable, but it's actually segregated it according to its own respective means. So that's a really cool feature in SPSS to be able to do that. So now I can actually compute the difference between the IQ values, IQ difference, uh, let's say mean, we'll call it a mean, because it's against the mean. So we'll IQ minus mean. And we'll click OK. And that calculates uh, 91 minus 102.9 equals 11.990. And it's calculated that for everybody. And then it also does it for the ones, but based on a different mean, because the mean is different for, the first, uh, for group number 1 versus group number 0. Now I need to transform these into absolute values. And that's easily done, too. And you just go like that, absolute, and put that variable in there. And then it's going to ask me, do I want to change the existing variable? And I do. So now I've got the absolute difference values for all my observations, but respective to each group's mean. And now if I do an ANOVA on this variable here, whoops. If I do an ANOVA on this variable, this is actually the Levine's test of uh, difference for the means. But it's the traditional, old-fashioned one. Let's check it out. I don't actually want to calculate homogeneity variance on that. See the significance level of 0 0.055 with an f of 3.906? Well, that's actually the same value that we got here. So that's what the Levine's test is, homogeneity variance. It's the difference, the mean, it calculates the mean difference between the absolute differences between each observation and its corresponding mean. Now, the problem with the means Levine's test is that it's sensitive to variations in the distribution. So if it's not, if your data are not normally distributed, it tends not to be powerful enough. So in this case, where it's almost statistically significant, I'd be thinking, oh well, and the data are not normally distributed, maybe the Brown Forsyth Levine's test will be better, which is actually using the median instead of the mean for the point of comparison upon which to calculate the absolute differences. Well, that's easily done too, because we just have to calculate that same aggregate variable. But in this case, I want to change the function from mean to median. And click OK. And that creates a new variable called IQ median. And now I can calculate a new difference score based on the median. Uh, OK, so IQ minus IQ median. Click OK. So here it comes out, and now I want to calculate the absolute value for that. Those differences. This probably I could probably do this all in one command, but I'm just doing it in an easier way so everyone can see what's going on. So here are the differences, and now I just have to perform a ANOVA on these same. Uh, values which are very similar to the IQ mean uh, value. Diff so it's 11.9. Oh, six. Actually, that's a fairly big difference. So I'm going to expect some uh, a difference in the um, the Levine's test based on the median, which people call the Brown Forsyth test. Unfortunately, uh, I say unfortunately because there's another test called Brown Forsyth, which is actually different. 
to this.